you start hollering, you will scream for the police, and then you run. Don't turn around. And they could be like, oh, bathrooms over. The, don't matter, because you're not going to the bathroom anyway. You just keep on moving. <laughs> I can simply see your heart breaking. And just keep some tears on deck. Oh, let's just start running. <laughs> Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here. Typically, this is a video of some, you'll see a dusty dude going Dutch. Uh, I'm 15, I got 15. You said what? You want me to finish? Huh? You're playing, huh? You, you said what? You're playing with me, right? Playing with you? Why? What do you mean, Al, Al 20? Like, what, does, owe, that, what 20. does that mean? I mean, your meal was 20 what bucks. Some, my meal was 20 bucks? Yeah, your meal was 20 bucks. Okay, so what are you here for? What do you mean? What I'm, what I'm here for? What are you here for? That's my question. I didn't, I, I didn't ask you to come on a date. You asked me to come on a date. Yeah, I asked you if you wanted to come yeah, eat with me. Yeah, and then you're the man. And you're the woman that ate food. <laughs> What's funny? Who's that? You, you gotta be, you gotta be joking right now. No, I'm not joking. Yes, what do you, you mean? Are. You, you ate? Did you or did you not Stop eat? Stop playing with me. Just pay the bill. Stop I'm not playing. playing. You are. I'm not you playing. playing with me. No, I'm not. Stop playing I'm not games. Playing. You think you're funny. It's not even funny. I'm not joking right now. You came out to eat and you ate twenty dollars worth of food. Okay. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay. Well, you did you, did you or did you I not even eat? order dessert? You, you ordered the bowl order and you ordered the hash browns. And that's yes. eighteen seventy five. Look it. Eighteen seventy five with taxes. It was three eighty six. So I'm just breaking it down. Split that up. Three eighty six. Half of that is almost two dollars. I'm thinking like 180 or something like that. So you're oh, you owe twenty dollars. It doesn't even matter what I order, what I didn't order. What I'm saying, why would I have to pay even half of it when you're here? That's what you're here for. I'm here. I asked you, did you want to go out to eat with me? I didn't yeah. say I was gonna pay. Oh, okay. Is that That's common sense? Do you just go and sit down at restaurants okay. so and just figure that they're gonna pay you for you? You just want to be put in the friend zone, right? Not even that. If I, you know what? Here, whatever. I don't care. What are you acting all? Why are you acting all weird like that? I'm not acting weird. Just fake. No, you got a little spank attitude. Yes, of course I'm gonna have an attitude. See, see, I'm gonna tell you where I was a gentleman at. Cause all them little bites that you yeah, ate off my French right. toast. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Hear me yeah, out. No. All them little bites, them them bites you got off my plate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was technically like five dollars off of my meal. I only ate like sixty six percent of that French grasp, toast. You, I, you said you, asked. you offered me to grab some of your food. No, you I didn't asked. Even, no. You asked. You said, you "Can I get a bite?" Me. No, you. <laughs> Okay, so 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 if the, if the waiter comes around, so you tell me if the waiter comes the around, if the if the waiter comes around and be like, hey, would you like some dessert with that? Do you think she's just gonna give that to you for free? Exactly, well, it's course, a price that comes behind I have that, to right? Say yes or no, and then I exactly. Say, okay, and did you say yes when I offered you some French toast? Yeah. If I did, but I don't think I did. You did. Exactly. So you gotta pay. But I wasn't even on that. I was gonna you wave that. You I know, was gonna wave that. I was being a gentleman. I was being a gentleman, and I was gonna wave that. This is the the first and last time you take me on a date. Don't ever ask me again. Don't ever hit uh, slide on my DMs. And you know what? Take your car. Take your car. I'll pay for all of it. Matter of fact, yeah, I'll pay for cool, all of it. Cool, cool. So you're going to pay for the whole thing? Yep, because that's how I am. I'm a boss. I don't need no nigga. Never, y'all yeah, females, don't let a broke oh, nigga my, take oh, you, you on a date. Yeah, never oh, let a broke wow, nigga you take recording? you on a day. That's what you want? Like, that's why your edge is bogus. Your edge is bogus. Oh, that's <laughs> what you want. I'm gone. You cool, Too man. much. Yep, Hold on. All right, bye, homie. All right, so basically, you so saw I'm that 15. at the yeah. end, I'm a boss. look, he gets up and he walks. Never your edges is bogus. Your oh, edges, you I'm gone. You cool though. Get up, mate. Oh. All right, bye, home. Okay, so let's break this so, down. Uh, I'm 15. Let me pause this. Yeah, okay, so let's talk for a moment. All right. First of all, I am Tanya TKO. I am a self-love specialist and I have been dubbed by Fox and NBC as a relationship expert. So uh, listen, I, I, I respond to viral video content and we give lessons of self-love and loving yourself through relationship in these videos. So what example can we glean from this? Let's, 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 just, let's just speak to the elephant in the room. Let me zoom this, let me zoom in on this. This video right here is staged this is this is fake this is 
things that people do to go viral. I'm gonna switch out these cameras and we're going to make this large. So I want you all to see how we know that this is staged, right? There are lots of foolish things that people do to go viral. And it's like, this is so annoying. So one of the things that we need to pay special attention to, I'm gonna let you know. So look, when you look inside of the, look, his credit card is facing down. You see that his credit card is facing down. When he puts the receipt up, he makes sure that his hand is covering the, when you watch that again, look, you see his credit card is facing down, right? And when he puts up the receipt, you, you see that his hand is covering stuff on the receipt. She hands her credit card to him face down. His credit card stays face down the whole entire time. And then she's like, oh, yeah, I'm a boss. I'm a pay. And then he gets up and he starts talking about her edges, which is very gay, by the way. Straight men don't do stuff like that. Right. But this guy. Let's jump into the meat and potatoes of this. Like I said, I'm Tanya TKO, self-love specialist. What are the self-love lessons here? Now, we know that this particular video is staged, but if something like this happens to you in real life, how do you handle it? First of all, it takes a very feminine, effeminate, feminized man to argue with women, first of all, right? And if you see a man going back and forth and doing all of this, you see a man who gives the, first of all, a man who invites you out on a date and then he gives the indication. I, I like to ask, you know, if it's a person I've never gone out with before, I like to ask if they're paying just to get that out of the way. I've been in far too many uncomfortable situations, group situations where people were mistaken about what was going on there. I've been out of the country and have had people confused about who's paying because, you know, if you're American and you go into a restaurant and, and they think you got more money and this, that, and the other. So I like to ask, right? I like to make it a habit of just kind of, oh, you know, are you, are you, is it your treat or whatever, you know, just to put it out there. I like to ask, let's say you don't ask and you get into a situation like this or something goes wrong during the date and he decides that he's not going to pay. First of all, listen, huh. We still have biases that exist inside of our society, biases that are actually skewed towards you as a woman. If you're inside of a restaurant with a man and he's giving these indications like he's dusty or bum, first of all, let's talk about his demeanor. You can tell from his demeanor that he's kind of crotchety, you know, his whole face and look at his face. Right, you can kind of tell from his demeanor that he's kind of crotchety, et cetera, and that he's kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Even though this is a skit, the, the character that he's playing is one that would have given the indication that there are some things wrong before you even went out on the date with him. Like there's just something off about his attitude, his energy, all of that, the way it ended up with the whole edges thing and going back and forth over pittance, small amounts on the bill and all of that. Don't get into this whole back and forth with them. Like I said, the there are biases that are skewed in your favor. Just say, oh, okay. Um, grab your purse and your belongings, say you're going to the bathroom, and then walk right out the front door. The waiters and waitresses are not going to come to you expecting any type of payment, and he's going to still be there left sitting at the table. Just grab your stuff, say that you're going to the ladies' room, don't get into a back and forth. Like she's going on talking about, oh, you just want to be in the friend zone. You kind of get the indication that you people pay to get out of the friend zone. Oh, they, they pay for your meal, and then all of a sudden, no, friend zone and this doesn't have anything to do with one another. If you know, especially if you know that this is a person you're not going out with again. And then she was talking about sliding in DMs and all of that, which gives the indication she didn't really know him very well and that they met online in some DM slide type of situation and blah, blah, blah. Just grab your purse. Just be like, okay, I'm going to the ladies room and just go and walk out the front door, walk out the side door, walk out the back door and keep on moving. Don't even look back. Don't engage and no, I see you leaving, none of that. You just grab your stuff. Your heart will be beating fast, because especially if they can see you as you're walking out and you just keep on moving. You get on your phone or you pretend phone call and you just start talking and walking. It's as simple as that. You know, it's like we get into these situations where we're, we're caught up in all types of foolishness and malarkey. For what reason? I don't know. So a lot of you have sent this video to me. So my answer to the number one thing that you can do to get out of situations like this is just to get out, standing up there arguing so that people can start talking about your edges and all of that. It's too much. It's too much. You just walk out the door. Keep it moving. 
Simple as that. Just go, just go. So on that note, I want to hear how you all would handle it. And I'll post up some of your comments and then I'll get out of here. This is a short video because this video doesn't really require much in-depth analysis. Don't argue with the bums. Don't negotiate with terrorists. Just get up and go, girlfriend. You're, she's talking about she's a boss. So now she's paid for his meal that he's invited her out for. If you was going to be doing, you, there's no need for all of that then. You, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. If this were real, it's like they're far too too many of us out there. Like I saw some people in the comments talking about, I would just pay for my put. No, don't pay for nothing. Nothing, not a thing. You're not paying for nothing, y'all. You grab on a purse, you put it around your shoulders, or you you you, you could just leave it on 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 the the the, the crux of your forearm because you don't want to make it look like you're leaving. You say you're going to the ladies' room. So, you know, as as a woman, they never know what time of the month it is for you and what you may have in your purse and you may need in there. It looked like it was warm since they were sitting outside, and you just so you don't have a big coat that you have to be putting on like it's winter and all of that. That right there is a little bit more suspicious, but still, even so, it, it, you grab your coat. What are you gonna do? Grab you by the coat and try to pull you back down that's when you start hollering so the scream for the police and then you run it's as simple as that like he got up and he walked away right out the thing he wasn't worried about nothing as he walked away right so you don't worry about not a thing yeah you don't worry about not a thing nothing you just grab your stuff say you're going to the ladies room and keep it moving and you block him on all platforms and you just you just you go on from there because what is the what is the alternative the alternative is that you come out of pocket to pay for his food or your food or what, what? I mean, look, if you all want to be mature or whatever, you could go, you could pay for your portion if you want. I wouldn't do it. And I, this is, I'm not telling you something that I haven't done before. I have had to get up and leave restaurants before. And that's exactly how I do it. <clears throat> nice as can be. Oh, excuse me. I just have to run to the ladies room. <laughs> Grab your stuff. You say in your mind, you curse under your breath or whatever. I know I'm never seeing this mother effer again. I just said, oh, blah, blah, blah. And as you walk, let's say the bathroom, they, they could, he could be like, the bathroom's on the other side. Like I said, don't turn around. What, what, what they, they got a song called, Don't Turn Around. I can seem to see your heart breaking. No, don't turn around. Keep it moving. They could be like, oh, bathrooms of a don't matter because you're not going to the bathroom anyway. You just keep on moving. <laughs> and on that note, let me just post up some comments. And Nelly is saying, a dusty like that will be hip to game. He would wait for her outside the bathroom. No, because ain't no bathroom. This is what I'm saying. People like to argue. He, People like him like to argue. There's no going to the bathroom to be standing outside the ladies' room. You ain't going to the bathroom anyway. You go into the front door. And if both of you are walking out the front door, do you know who the servers or, or manager is going to stop? They're going to stop him. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, and you need to learn how to have some tears on deck. You need to have your, your ducts. Listen, we've all been through trauma in life. Especially as black women, we we like she. I don't know what her her ethnicity was. But she sounded a little ethnic, right? So far, too many of us want to prove we're strong or bosses. You need to have some some thinking about some tragedy that has befallen you, and just keep some tears on deck, and just it, just it, it, be grab your arms. Uh -huh! Just start running. It's as simple as that. Just you, you don't know. You don't know what assault he may have done. To you know, they don't know. Just run. <laughs> They're gonna stop him nine times out of ten. I guarantee you. I am Serena saying facts. Pull a Becky. Kristen is saying cheap, dusty, low class dudes do house dates. You don't have to accept that treatment. No one is com is a complete sentence without an explanation. Miz is saying, one time the wait staff gave me a bottle of wine because I had a shoal told me go home and Netflix and chill. I don't understand what that means. We got to check our spelling before we press send. Mary is saying, or Maria is saying, just simply smile and say, oh my, you're right. I'll be right back. Once outside, send a quick text, boy, bye. You don't even have to send a text. Block and keep it moving. Let him wonder what happened to you. Like it'd be a, a mystery. A mystery of the ages. Be like, oh, she said she was going to the bathroom. I haven't seen her since. No, bitch, you haven't. Just keep on going. 
<laughs> Serene says, I'm not mature either. I'm leaving and not paying. Goodbye. Exactly. Exactly. I've had to leave people in other countries like that. Like some, some Caucasian girl I was traveling with through Jordan decided that she was going to go out on a date with some man who I didn't, she invited me out with them. And then when all was said and done, oh, and he brought a friend too. When all was said and done, him and the friend sat back in the chairs and started, um, picking their teeth with two picks. I said, not I, not today. And I went to the front desk. I paid my portion and I left in that situation because I was in a, I was in a Muslim country. I was alone and I wasn't, you know, I'm saying I was wait, was I in Jordan yet? I, no, I was in Syria. So yeah, I wasn't going to play in Syria. So I just, I kept, I just, I kept it moving. What country was I in? Ugh. I was in some country that was right next to Saudi Arabia and across from Israel. <laughs> so I don't remember which country I was in, but I was in a country that I wasn't going to play these games. And so I went to the front desk. I said, you know, I was sitting at that table. I paid my stuff and I left her and that guy there. And then the, I don't know what it is that they did. As a matter of fact, no, because I ended up seeing her again in Damascus and, she, and her, it, was a, it was a mess. I was like, ugh. I couldn't be bothered with these fools, right? Sweet Tea says his mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. Lord of mercy. <laughs> A. Hamilton is saying he asked you out, don't pay. Ah, Lord of mercy. A. Hamilton said, this never happened to me. I was asked to pay the tip once. Needless to say, I stopped returning his calls. Yeah, you know, like I, I don't mind paying a tip if it, if we've been going out for a while and he's been treating, I'll even offer to pay the tip, right? But not on the first date, not before he's he's put in his investment, right? Let's keep going. <laughs> JW saying it would be a, a short first date. Hey, <laughs> John is saying not the Biden malarkey. I know, right? Hey, <laughs> A. Hamilton saying stereotypical mention edges and everything. And Miz is saying, I would never leave home without my own money or card, period. I was taught to always have my cab, now Uber for your home. Um, th that goes without saying, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a person who invited you out on a date. Your money ain't got nothing to do with this. You keep it moving. You keep it moving. You hear? You hear? <laughs> Another one. Always have your emergency money. This got nothing to do with emergency money. Crystalline is saying broke boys running around and grown men's body weak AF. Listen, exactly. Keep it. So this is sums it up. Keep moving, ladies. That's right. Don't sit there arguing. Just keep it moving. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. So listen, I want to know what it is that you've thought of our advice here today to just grab your purse, go to the bathroom and keep tears on deck for, for the moments that they're needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord oh lord and on that note i'm gonna jump out of here go ahead listen go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications come over to my website tanyatko.com subscribe to my mailing list make sure that you're following me on instagram facebook twitter or i have two pages on facebook two pages on youtube so it's tanya tko and then it's tanya tko tv on facebook it's tanya tko show and tanya tko tv so make sure you're on both of my pages because you never know when one of these platforms may try to act funny style like i said you got to keep it moving that's why i have my backup pages and you need to make sure that you're on the backup pages too always have a plan b always have a plan b and on that note i am out go out there and love one another but most importantly what that's right. Love yourself. And part of loving yourself is not arguing with fools, saving your energy. You, if you're a boss, walk out like one. You know what I'm saying? If you're a boss, just keep it moving. Standing up there arguing with somebody who's talking about edges, low vibrational mother effers, loving yourself is kind of vetting a person's energy before you even go out with them so that you don't end up in situations where a person is maliciously talking about nonsense. Like, you took some bites off my French toast and now, oh, this, that. Oh, come on, it's too much. It's just, it's, that was too much. It was too much. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Make sure that you're on the mailing list to know when my book of affirmation, self-love, is coming back out in stock. This book right here helps you rewrite your subconscious programming and reattune you to self-love so that if you end up attracting people like this, you can recalibrate yourself so that you're attracting people who are on a similar vibration, but you have to first fine-tune your own vibration. And on that note, Tanya TKO, 
and I'm out. Peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you thumbs up the video, make sure that you subscribe, and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below, share the video, and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list and drop me a message of a viral story that you'd like for me to cover. See you on the other side. Peace.